Destiny 2 is a game with a complex buff and debuff system that has some interesting quirks. Destiny 2 has many different forms of debuffs, like Tractor Cannon, Tether, Divinity, and Heart Shadow, to name a few, which all can have their own uses in the correct settings, but there might be an interaction with debuffs you don't know about. First thing I want to talk about is debuff percents and what each one can give you. First things first is Tier 1 debuffs. This being the debuffs that provide the least amount of damage increase at 15%. Things that fall under this category are Divinity and Weakened effects, like Void Weakened or Heart Shadow. These usually give you a benefit, like providing an easier crit or allowing you to do damage with the weapon itself, with like Heart Shadow, for example. Tier 2 debuffs have significantly less options than Tier 1 debuffs, only being three options that being Fell Winter's Helm, Tether, and tractor cannon. With tier 2 debuffs, you are provided with a 30% debuff, an extra 15% more than tier 1 debuffs, but they can sometimes be harder to use because you need to time them or manage the debuff far more than with tier 1 debuffs, as tier 1 debuffs are more consistent with their upkeep. Now that we've talked about the two different kinds of debuffs you will have, let's talk about the main one in question, that being tractor cannon. Tractor Cannon, as we have already established, is a 30% debuff. This debuff will last for 10 seconds, so about every 10 seconds you will want to reapply Tractor, which in some cases the boss can move or be in an unideal spot to, for you to reapply Tractor. So going into Carl, we can see that a body shot will do 3,254, and a headshot will do 4,881. This is without any buffs or debuffs applied to the person. Now, when running up to Carl, we can see that the damage numbers do change 4,234 or 30 for the body shot and 6,345 for the headshot. This is checking out and that is the 30% debuff that we are looking for. Now, going on to weaken effects, we can see that the body shot is hitting for 3,742 and the headshot hitting for 5,613. And that checks out to be the 15% debuff. In this clip here, we can see that Tractor Cannon is lasting for 10 seconds, just as I said and tested right here on Carl. And boom, that 10 second timer is up. Now, here is how we're going to extend this timer using a tier 1 and a tier 2 debuff. As we can see now, I hit Carl with the Void Soul at like 7 seconds, and he is debuffed, and I am hitting for those 30% numbers when we know that Child of the Old Gods is supposed to be a tier 1 debuff. So you're probably wondering, why is that useful? Here you can see... I've been practicing King's Fall speedruns and we decided to use this and this is what's gotten us more consistent one nights inside of War Priest 1 phases. All I do is put the Child of the Old Gods there and reapply Weekend whenever I can and this will extend that 30% debuff timer. This is extremely useful in cases where you need to stay in a spot to DPS but the boss keeps moving and you want to keep that 30% debuff applied. Three, two. Now, what exactly am I using in this clip? I'm using a couple of things. I'm using the new gauntlets for the Warlock, the Briar Binds, which will extend my Void Souls by 55%, so up from 9.25 seconds to somewhere around 15-ish, roughly. And I'm also using Echo of Undermining to get my grenade to weaken the enemies as well. This allows for me to extend the 30% debuff that usually would last 10 seconds, to well over 30 seconds plus worth of debuff damage. Now, this piece of tech or information is relatively niche and in most settings, your debuff will be applied pretty much every single time, but it's something nice to know in case you aren't able to apply it and you have some sort of backup to keep that debuff applied. So if you found this video helpful in any shape, form, or way, it would be much appreciated if you can leave a like, comment, and sub. I've been Delta, and I will see you guys in the next video.
1835. Hold.